IT66. Just coming in now after the plasterer. This is the last ceiling he has skimmed. So I can come back in now and finish. Tiny bit of second fix. Yeah, I'm going to show you the um, the board in a second. Jump on that now. A nice fan in the loft. Come on, focus, you poxy thing. Hmm. Just fitting up the smoke alarm base out in the hallway there, so optical. So we got one optical upstairs in the hall, one optical downstairs, and then we got heat in the kitchen. I've gone for the alkaline batteries on here because I want the um, client to be able to change the batteries rather than having the lithium sealed ones, okay? There you go, hallway, landing, living room. And then ionization in the bedrooms with like smoldering, bedding. And then you can get the malters if you want as well, but that's the ones I go for. Either the lithium or the ones with the alkaline batteries. I fitted a fire angel or something the other day and it was complete and utter trash. Um, hate them. These are fantastic with this little base for the um, connections there. the blue covers on and uh, wait till the paint is finished yeah Just lasering up all my lights, look, get them nice and straight. Got the heat detector in. Um, yeah, it's going all right. All socket second fix, just got to do the boiler next week. And the board, this one will be wrapped up. It's imperative you get these straight. Also got a multi-gang for this, look. Multi-gang switch. Um, 
because down the line we might be putting under cabinet lights in but I didn't want to put a single box and have to change it because they might want three dimmers so um, you can't put three dimmers on a, on a single gang so I put a twin gang in and I'll just fill the gaps up with the blanks. Right, I'll stop boring you now with the second fix. I've got to go and I've had to finish work there now. Clock. I've got to go and meet Ashley, the winner of the last competition, the tool competition that I've just started. I'm going to go meet him in Milton Keynes at the MK Don Stadium. Whew, it is hot. So I'm going to get over there and then I won't release this video yet um, until I've done something actually interesting to show you. So probably be the fuse board. I'll just talk about it quickly now. So fuse box have now released that you should be fitting um, an MCB with the SPD board. So if you order a 10 way board, it actually reduces that down to nine ways now because one way is getting taken up. So you actually only get nine ways um, and RCBOs get really hot. So you, it's nice to leave a gap now between the RCBO. So what I'm gonna do is strip out the SPD because um, I've already ordered the board and it's been sat on the job for weeks now. So I'm gonna rip out the SPD. I'm gonna fit a lewd and external SPD at the mains, type two. Uh, keeping the tails as short as possible, obviously, uh, within 50 centimetres um, of three of them. But when I go through that, I will show you. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to rip that out, fit the board, and then that's going to give me um, gain me two extra ways so I can space out my RCBOs. So I'm going to go meet the winner now, and I'll see you in a bit. There we go. Ashley is very happy with his stuff. He's got, bless him, he's got an old Q-Tech now. He has got a brand new Mega. 1741 MFT. So I will see you uh, Friday or Saturday when we're actually going to get on with some proper work, yeah? So, yeah, a little jump in the video. I'm installing an aircon supply at a house today. I'll have a look, I'll show you the route and stuff. So, 2.5 radial SWA. Aircon guys have done, I've got their trunking on, so I've got to get up into that trunking and round on the flat roof, but I've got to get it through this utility. I'm going to come under these units, drill out, pop out and up. Try and get it behind the tank. Somewhere there. And then up. Got a loop trying in here, look. Okay, it's actually been well designed, look. Comes behind, I'll then be able to get a cleat in that wall and it just runs behind the double dry washing machine. Right, I had to pull the washing machine out in the end. I'm gonna cleat that against the wall. That then runs into the little plant room. In here, I'll then get it up to that hole there. Comes out running up into the trunk in along through that wall. Oh, right, there's the condenser. That's the condenser. Aircon guys have left me a bit of copex to put an isolator on. And then in here is where I'll just poke that armoured through. Here's the aircon pipe. So I'm going to cleat along this joist. And then you won't see in there. See in there, I'm gonna go in there, cleat him along, and poke him through with the aircon pipes. So I'll see you in a minute. <sighs> oh sorry there, you must have uh, must have saw my socks. This is one horrible loft. Um the beams are going long ways, so you haven't got anything to lean on. Um and it's, look, look how small it is. Don't get me wrong, it's clean, but it's horrible. So I've got my armoured pulled in. I'm now gonna, some blokes would be happy with that, wouldn't they? We've seen other people's work. I'm gonna cleat this away, because there's aircon pipes and data here. So I'm gonna cleat them on this one, which is, um, which is empty. Work my way down and then, um, Go out on the little roof, make the uh, gland off the armoured, um, and then go down and do the board end. Right. Oh my gosh. Okay, I know for a fact, a fact, this house was done 
in the last five years by a very well known smart home provider um, in my area, okay? Um, so I know these in the stores, electrical data, they do all that and they can cost in excess of like 150,000 pound, a lot of these smart homes, 100 to 150,000 pound. Um, and I would expect a little bit more for my money um, than, than some of the stuff in this loft. I just expect a little bit, a little bit more, just to be honest. Mm. That's, that's a down light they've extended, poked it through that wood. <sighs> Shocking. Shocking install. Anyway, my cable moves through with the aircon pipes there. Comes over, it's cleated. Comes over this beam and then he runs along there, look, and cleated along there. So that was a 25 meter coil of armoured and I've probably got at least oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 15 meters on that. So it's about a, a 15 meter run from the board um, through that little loft, about four meters down, five, yeah, 15. 15 to 17 meters. So I'm going to cut this off now and put a little isolator on. So literally all I'm going to do is bring my armoured up into this little rotary isolator. And then um, if the guys ever need to come and work on this, they can isolate here. Always mount it as close as you can off the ground. And then they've left me a bit of copex. Look, so I'll just put it as high as he wants me to with his bit of twin and earth there. I'll glam my armoured into there. But this is a CD load breaker and it's the 25 amp. This is a 16 amp MCB circuit, okay? 2.5 free core. So I've, I've kicked him over slightly, look, with this Copex. I will straighten that up for him. Um, I couldn't put it directly behind because I wouldn't be able to work on it properly. Um, and also you can fix through the back of these. Get your arrow up, fix through the back. But I like to fix through the actual screw at the top there and the bottom just keeps the IP rating of the enclosure. Right, just a couple of bits. He's put a bit of formal in, which is, um, isn't really needed, but I guess that's all he had on the van. I've got a bit of 2.5. There's my um, fuse. So it's 11.7 uh, amps, rated current max, and then you could put it on a 13 amp fuse, plug top if you wanted to, um, but that's not really good for um balancing your circuit original circuit so you would wouldn't that's why we put a separate circuit in for that all right so it's 11.17 amps and then another tip for you you've got earth terminals in the back there never ever ever switch your earth uh for an isolator keep your earth continuous and just switch your live and neutral obviously this is a three phase isolator so you'd switch three phases um but yeah just put your um Put your earth there and then put your live and neutral through here. Right, so all I've got to do now, this is all back together. I've just got to do the board end. I've cleaned off all the cable that runs up there. Um, isolate is done. And have you tried getting one of these? These are like gold dust now. Because obviously MK are not doing these anymore. So if you've got any of these, keep them and then stick them on eBay. Yeah. So I'm going to do the board end. I'm going to gland the armoured down this end and I've not done it in the isolator because it's too small and you only need to do it one end. Bloody awesome piece of kit that magnetic. I think I'm going to go for the RCD board. Got some spare ways. We're going to take him off and have a look now. Crap design. Look, look at this. So it's just a little observation that I will be putting down on the test sheet. Look, 100 amp. 20, 20, 20, 10, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 10, 26, 100 amp, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 20, 32, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, what are they, 20, 20, yeah, obviously they're not all loaded up, but it's not very good design, is it? So it's quite nice to see, isn't it? It's, it's, it's all neat. It's all neat and tidy. This is weird, look, it's actually a metal. 
It's a metal board because it's like a double stack MK, but it's got a plastic lid, but it is metal, look. So that's good, I'll land into there, and then we'll earth him down. And then we'll just stick our MZB in there. Well, I've got me link in between me earth CPC and me live line, and I'm gonna go upstairs and do an R1, R2 reading now. Okay, 0.17. OCD, yeah, I've got a blue probe on it because I didn't bring the green one up. Um, we'll do some insulation resistance now and I'll leave the link in. You can see a dead short, okay? If I can test it. So live and earth. Dead short, all right? Live and live and neutral. Greater than five hundred, and I'll go and remove that link now. Get him on the live and earth. Greater than five hundred, and then we go neutral. Earth. 500 so we leave that cover off we need to well put it on we power up come back up and we do a zs and an rcd right it's all powered up let's see what we can do here so we'll stick that back on I'm not really prepared for this but i'll bring you along for the ride oh come on I'll tell you what we'll do we'll do a reading off the sheath shall we See what he gives us. There we go. Oh, he's on the sheaf. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Two probes, blue. Then we'll do it off the off the connection. And see what that gives us. Sheaf, see what he gives us. Zero point four two. Just out of interest, I'll get him on the cable there. So we had point four two. Point four six. So we'll go with the four six. It's the higher of the two, all right? Well, we're here, RCD. Great, let's go and have a look. Right, I've isolated all loads off of the RCD, and I'll give him a few trips. You'll probably find he's been sat idle for a while, not doing much. So let's give him another go. There you go. So that just shows why you should be resetting your RCD um, quarterly, or whatever it says, six monthly, three monthly, whatever it is now. Should know that, really. Um, that's where you should be resetting it. Otherwise they will fail because they, they go sticky basically. So he's passed now. All right, 13.2. Right, that's this one done. Um, if you do follow my Alex Tools Away um, page on Instagram and my giveaways competitions, one of these is coming up very soon if you're interested. Client's request. Mm. Try to leave, and um, the, the guy who came yesterday to do the aircon, he left the bedroom dirty, the floor. I don't know if you saw it, but I just took a bollock in for him. <laughs> I just cleaned it up for him, bless him. So that one's done, and then tomorrow, look, I got a, I went to TLC, picked up a little Crabtree Starbreaker. I got one of those Reno installs to do tomorrow, which I'll show you a little bit on if I get time, and then we'll do the board at the rewire house, and that will be finished. Oh. 
just on one of those home renal installations um, a lot of people say to me why is it all surface why is it all in trunking why do you not chase it in make it good because these are temporary installations I just thought I'd make that clear none of these installations are permanent and a lot of them are in social housing um, developments and stuff so it's all temporary it has to be agreed by the housing association council etc and then I come in plumber does his bit and I do my bit and then um, later on because the tenant will move it all gets stripped out and it's all on surface so they all have to do is make good the holes and stuff so I can't film in there because um, uh, the lady and her son are there um, it's yeah it's uh, it's one of those houses Bathroom fan not going nowhere. fluke. <laughs> do you want it? Oh, yeah, I am happy with that. That will do.
<laughs> Bloody weather. Oh, oh. Woo, another one bites the dust. That's the life, eh? Two million pound house yesterday. And a council house today, which is fine. Lovely people. Absolutely lovely. And now they've got a dialysis machine, so they haven't got to go to the hospital every single day, eh? How good is that for them? Yeah, saves the NHS, honestly, thousands of pounds a year um, having to get patients to hospital. They can do it in their own house, so. I'll see how long this video is. It might end here. If it don't, keep watching and we'll do some more work. <laughs> I'm back. The fun is never ended. Remember, in this game, it's never ended. A lady's just phoned me. She's got a problem with a shower. I don't know what's wrong with it, but my betting is it's either a burnt out connection at the fuse board, um, at the shower switch or at the shower. All right, we're going to have a look. <laughs> oh, what do you think of that then? Right, let me just run down. I, what I just found a six mil cable wired straight off the top of the 30 milliamp RCD. No overcurrent protection on the circuit whatsoever. Wired into a 63 amp RCCB 61008. Doesn't provide overcurrent protection. Goes up to a six mil to a um, shower switch, which is completely burnt. And then goes over to a feeds a shower that is an eight and a half kilowatt. So roughly 36 amps. So hmm. I've got to uh, send her a quote to rewire the shower. <laughs> See you on the next one.